We're back. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly, and we're live at the .conf conference. This is Splunk's big customer event. This, this is, I believe, their fourth year. The second year for theCUBE. theCUBE is SiliconANGLE's live mobile studio. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. We find the best guests and bring you their insights. Nateen Narkaday is here. He is the general manager of the Emerging Technologies and Innovation Group at Wipro. Uh, we love to talk about the services angle here at SiliconANGLE Wikibon. Services is really where the business value is realized. Nateen, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. So Wipro is an organization that has really exploded in the last decade, uh, and really in the last five years has risen to, to prominence as a, as a global player. But uh, why don't we start with Wipro? Give us an update on the, the, the company, and then we'll get into your organization. So, uh, as, you, as you know, Wipro is you know, one of the major system integrators. You know, uh, we started uh, out of India, but you know, uh, we are a global player now. Uh, with uh, operations in you know, more than 80 countries, about uh, uh, 145,000 em uh, employees worldwide, uh, and you know, over uh, 900 customers. So, uh, and in fact, uh, our employee base uh, is also as diverse, you know, we have about 50 plus nationalities uh, in our employee, employee base. Uh, so Wipro has become a truly, uh, you know, uh, global SI, you know, from that perspective. Uh, we've also increased our uh, portfolio, uh, uh, you know, from services portfolio, uh, uh, you know, accordingly, in, you know, ranging from, you know, product engineering to IT services to business process outsourcing. Uh, and we are constantly looking at uh, new areas, new technologies, uh, and you know, that's how you know, we spotted, uh, spotted Splunk a couple of years back. So talk about the emerging tech and innovation group. You're the general manager of that group. It sounds to me like you run all the good stuff. <laughs> what, um, what is, the, what is the, the mission of that group and what's the role? So uh, what, what this group really does is you know, look at uh, you know, uh, three to five year kind of timeline uh, and uh, uh, Look at the kind of technologies you know that may become mainstream, uh, you know, in in that time frame. Uh, you know, what are the trends? You know, the uh, you know that would uh, essentially uh, be uh, big trends, you know, f you know, for the technology industry. Uh, and then we look at you know what those trends means, you know, for uh, our customers, for you know our business, and. Then essentially, you know, we uh, you know chart out a strategy in terms of you know what sort of new solutions, service offerings, uh, or even new new business that you know we may get into, and uh, you know th that's essentially what I do. So it, this is part incubation, part future scope, uh, future scaping, part uh, uh, you know really you know scouting for uh, new technology and trends, and uh, uh, you know uh, aligning uh, you know your business priorities with with those trends. So, okay. Yeah. So what are some of those big trends that you're seeing? Everybody always talks about cloud, mobile, social, and big data. Right. Presumably you see those four, but maybe you could you know, either confirm that, unpack that, maybe give us a little color on sort of what you see as the big mega trends, and then we can talk about how you're adapting so, to them. So you, know, you, you mentioned uh, you know, a lot of those trends. Uh, uh, you know, cloud is obviously a big trend, uh, and uh, you know, th that's something that uh, you know, I've been tracking uh, you know, uh, five years. You know, since five last five years, and we have actually created a new uh, practice or a uh, service line. You know, around cloud technologies. Uh, you know, similar. Uh, you know, uh, similarly, mobility. You know, we have now created a new service line out of out of mobility. Uh, be, you know, be, besides you know uh, the three things that you talked about, cloud mobility analytics. Uh, you know, there is a big trend around. Uh, in, you know, uh, M to M or Internet of Everything. Uh, so that, that's that's one area we are focusing on. We are focusing on next generation of devices. You know, these are essentially uh, miniaturized, uh, you know, sensor platforms. You know, that you can use to connect physical world with IT world. Uh, so we are, we are focusing on that. We are focusing on uh, next generation of user experience. Uh, you know, we have seen uh, you know touch coming in in a big way. Uh, you know, in the new devices and applications, uh, you know gestures are following. 
and that, and there is you know there is a lot more going on uh, you know in in that essentially you know the how you are uh, connecting with the technology so you know that's another you know that's another area you mentioned big data uh, again big data we have seen uh, you know, step trends. You know, the first trend was really to uh, get your arms around, you know, manage uh, big data. The next next trend is really uh, how do you make sense of, uh, or, you know, how how do you extract value, uh, you know, out of uh, you know out of this, uh, uh, you know, large amount of data that you have uh, available both internally and externally, uh, you know, in your enterprise, and you know that's where. Uh, you know, a lot of the future focus going to be. Yeah, and Jeff Kelly, you just did a study looking at customers um, of big data, and, and basically one of the conclusions of the study was they're not getting as much value as they possibly would like, and, and the right, gap right. is expertise. Right. The gap, yeah, the gap is, uh, there's a couple gaps that we found. One is expertise, one is really having a, a, a clearly defined uh, business use case. Right. Um, and I think those two kind of are related. Um, but I think you touched on it right there, the next, the next really, uh, not, not necessarily wave of innovation, but the next area that really needs to come into focus is how do you extract value from all that data that we can now store inexpensively thanks to things like Hadoop um, right. and other you know, low cost uh, scale out platforms. You know, all that, being able to store and process all that data is great, but ultimately you've got to extract value from that. And in a sense, that's where Splunk comes in. That's kind of their value proposition is that they allow companies to do that. Um, okay. They've got Hunk, uh, they're, they're in, in beta, but their new product really focused on allowing uh, business analysts to really start examining data inside of Hadoop in a much easier, more iterative, iterative way. Um, but you know, beyond just Hadoop, what are you seeing um, in terms of the different players out there, not just the vendors, but uh, the, the, your customers? What are they doing to try to start tra extracting value? Is it, are they investing in uh, applications and things like Splunk, or, or are they doing some homegrown application development? What are you seeing in terms of trying to take that next step and, and take, get value from all that data? So, uh, you know, you, you see all varieties. You know, there, there are some customers who are looking for off-the-shelf solutions. Uh, and, uh, you know, there are, there are a few that, that are available. Uh, you know, Splunk is a nice platform to look at, uh, you know, the machine data, analyze it, correlate it. Uh, there are some customers, you know, who are looking at building their own secret sauce, building their own uh, applications and algorithms. Uh, you know, this might change in the future, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, at present there is uh, you know very little that's out there that uh, customers can buy and use. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, so as you go into customer organizations, what do you what are you advising? Uh, you know, from a services perspective, is it we'll come in and we'll help you build an application to actually start uh, driving value? How do you how does Wipro as a company kind of approach that problem? So it's, it's, it's again based on uh, you know, the objective of the customer, uh, what sort of use cases you have at hand, uh, and you know, essentially uh, a lot of what we do is really uh, help uh, customers uh, identify the areas where the, where the value lies, mm -hmm. and then you know, how to extract that value, and you know, how to essentially use uh, you know, those in, uh, you know, the insights that uh, you, know, you get from the, from the uh, big data. Uh, into you know creating new business model, into uh, you know uh, enriching your uh, in, you know interactions with your customers, or uh, you know pos potentially you know identify new business models or new sources of revenues. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think you know that's identifying those initial use cases that are going to deliver value, uh, but also spur further investment in big data so that you can start building more applications and, and extend it throughout your business are key. So you need those early quick wins. Um, so are you seeing that happen, or are you seeing, are you seeing a lot of false starts, I guess, uh, at companies out there who don't really necessarily grasp what that killer initial use case is? Um, how do you advise people to get started? Is, you know, we look at it, I think, you know, when we talk to clients, we talk about start small, but in strategic areas. I mean, how do you approach it? How do you advise clients? And uh, the same thing, what, what, what we uh, really advise our customer, uh, is, customers is, uh, you know, look at, uh, you know, areas where you're going to get, uh, you know, biggest bang for your buck. You know, you need some, uh, you know, uh, spectacular demonstrators initially, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, your stakeholders to buy into the technology, buy into the concept. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes part with their data. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's not easy to uh, get all the data that you need, uh, need even in one company. And, uh, you know, you need to have, you know, uh, you know some, uh, you know, solid uh, business case. Uh, even to uh, accomplish that. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, you know, that's, that's, that's what we advise our customers. So we're tight on time, so I want to come back to, to Splunk. We were talking off camera. You guys are a Splunk reseller, correct? Mm -hmm. and, and then you're also doing a lot in terms of security, real-time security monitoring. Uh, you're doing infrastructure analytics. And you also said you're looking at Splunk as a platform for operational analytics. Intelligence, I yes. wonder if you could talk about that a little bit. What does that mean, and, and what are customers asking you, you to help them with? Right. So, you know, a, a, a lot of uh, information on how the business operates uh, actually contained, you know, in, in the application logs, in, in uh, you know, the logs, uh, you know, that you get out of your IT infrastructure. Uh, and Splunk actually allows you to, you know, get to this information, uh, you know, in, in easily and uh, in, in a near real-time fashion. And you could actually create uh, uh, dashboards that provide you visibility into, uh, you know, how your business is running, you know. What are, you know, what's your, what are, uh, you know, what are your orders per hour, uh, you know, from your e-commerce site, or, you know, uh, are, are your customers facing, uh, you know, problems, uh, you know, checking out, you know, in what areas, right? So, so there's a lot of the business metric and business information you can glean out of the machine data that you're gathering, you know, uh, you know, from your IT systems. And those, those are the kinds of things, uh, you know, the, that uh, essentially links uh, Splunk to the business value. So, and then also security is an area of, of focus. I wonder if you could talk about that. What's the state of security? How is Wipro helping its clients, you know, deal with this never-ending gap between, you know, being secure and the bad guys sort of penetrating and stealing our, our ideas, our business, knocking our sites out. It's just the, it seems to right. be this, you know, never-ending gap. Uh, how are you helping close that? Right. I think everybody now realizes that, you know, security is, uh, you know, not like any other IT application that you, you implement and then, then you manage, mm -hmm. you know. It's ever-changing, ever-evolving, uh, you know, you need to be diligent, you need to be looking at, uh, you know, uh, all of the activity, you need to uh, look at all of the, uh, you know, outliers, in, and, you know, uh, that is where, uh, you know, our focus is, is, is really looking at, uh, you know, all the, pa you know, uh, different patterns, how they are correlated, uh, and, you know, then how do you essentially protect against, uh, you know, the uh, untoward events, uh, and, that's essentially, you know, uh, where our focus is, and you know, Splunk is a great, great tool, uh, you know, to to implement, uh, you know, more uh, active and agile, uh, you know, uh, in enterprise security. All right, Nitin, we're out of time, but so I'll give you the last word. Anything you want our audience to so sort of take away, you know, sort of Wipro related, your relationship with Splunk, about anything about the event, just give you the last word. So. Uh, I, I'd, I'd probably, uh, you know, talk uh, talk a little bit about, uh, you know, uh, how Wipro is approaching, uh, you know, Splunk implementations. Uh, you know, uh, sp uh, you know, many of our customers tend to look at Splunk for a point application. You know, I'm going to use Splunk for uh, security information management. I'm going to use Splunk for infrastructure security or something else, uh, in infrastructure monitoring or something else. Uh, but Splunk really is a platform. Uh, you know, where you can get all of your uh, machine data and then essentially, uh, you know, implement use case after use case, you know, in variety of different, uh, variety of areas, you know, be it monitoring, be it, uh, you know, predictive uh, alerting in action, uh, be it security, be it, uh, you know, uh, operational monitoring, uh, you know, that's essentially business analytics and the tool works across all of these applications really well. Excellent. Well, Nitin, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And uh, good luck going Thank forward. You. Thank you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be right back with our next guest. This is theCUBE. We're live from Splunk.com.